There is a stranger in this town on the stage spinning records they call him the foreign DJ Hey, I've been, uh, let me take my mask off. I'm up on stage, safe. We're still in the pandemic here. I'm doing a gig up here on this uh, stage here in Wimberley. Um, this is the usual solo setup. This is what I bring to most gigs. Um, it's mainly comprised of this piano shell, which is the uh, Dutch Grand, and the stage piano that I put in here is the Yamaha CP33. It's an industry standard with the mono piano patch. It's great. Drum machines and old boss. Uh, compliments to Greg Astadorian for all of these recommendations. Um, let's talk about signal flow. So I'm always coming into venues and they'll have a house sound system. So this, this place has their own house sound system and it's good. So I plugged into it, but as far as my own personal monitor situation, I have this box, and this box is, um, let's just throw some light on it. it I have a, a, a mixer built into it, so I'm able to roll up each cable in, in the form of snakes. So I have a snake for my piano, I have a snake for my drum machine, I have a snake for my iPad, and they just sit right here. I have a snake for my monitor with power, and this all lives in the box, which has wheels on it. So when I show up to a gig, I'm able to just take the cover off, unroll the cables that go to each instrument, and I'm ready to roll. And I send one XLR out to the house sound system or to, to my uh, QSC K12s when I'm when I'm bringing my own PA. I always, always, always bring this guy. I need a reference, I need a good reference. This is the best reference. He's, he's my best friend. He's, he's always gonna sound good, I know how he sounds. Um, I'm using the, uh, the pedal for the voice. So I have a couple things I do with the voice. Most of the time I'm, I'm on this first setting here, which is, it's dry, but then when you hit this, it, it just adds a touch, a touch of reverb. And then this setting, number two, is, is when I want a deep voice. And then third is uh, really, really wet. And then I got, uh, I got this one when I need a female voice. Hey, 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 you know, one, two, one, two. And then I got uh, the megaphone for like the killers. Hey, I missed the bright side. So, so that's, that's pretty much all I use that for. Pedals um, here. I uh, got the, uh, you know, the sustain for this, which 90% of the time I'm on the piano patch. I'd say 95% of the time I'm just using the piano patch. Um, it's also important that the monitor has its own independent send, so you can turn up and down your own personal level without messing with the house. And I'll usually cross that thing over at 80 hertz so it's just clean and not muddied by any low frequencies. And I like this uh, pedal. I have it hooked into this boss. It just gives me a kick. It's goofy. Um, coming around here, you gotta have gimmicks. You gotta have gimmicks. Shakers, lighters, you know, get the people with the, uh, you know, purple rain and stuff. Harmonica, Benny and the Jets lights. Request slips are huge. Um, these, are very, these are very important. The crowd can request and feel like they're a part of the show. And then uh, I got the, the, light, the light rack here. This is like entry level stage lighting, but it's absolutely mandatory that you bring this to every show because lighting is everything. Um, the guitar here, uh, that's also plugged in to the board through a cable that I just keep wrapped up on the, on the top. Um, I use a bag of tricks, but my bag's actually a box. So these are things like, uh, you know, mirror markers so I can mark on the piano shelf at someone's birthday. Um, keep all my song requests and business cards and pens and all those things in here. And then uh, moving over to this. This box contains pretty much a backup of all of the chords that could fail or allow me to tie into funky house systems. You never know what you're gonna run into. So for instance, like this, uh, this microphone pouch, and I love these Shure bags, they're the best. They stand the test of time. But yeah, you know, like uh, 
quarter inch TRS to XLR. These are very, very important. Um, RCA to TRS. You never know, <laughs> this one, this one's great. That'll uh, quarter inch to eighth inch. But anyway, oh, this one's good too. Eighth inch to eighth inch. Ooh, this one's really good. RCA to single quarter inch. This one's good too. Eighth inch mono to quarter inch. So I got everything. So I can come into a venue that has a screwed up sound system and just try to patch in as best as possible. You gotta be prepared for everything on the road. Um, this, this thing right here, a rechargeable flashlight, it's great um, for crowd. You need one that does the spotlight effect and goes wide. So we got backups here. I like to keep a can of Deoxit because uh, electronics and, and the environment, uh, they, cause, they cause things to act up. Rheostats, contacts, this stuff is magic. I'll spray it on my mixer and work the, the, the knob back and forth and uh, usually clears up any issue I have. I've been using this thing for over 10 years now. It's great. So I built it in here and I have all the, the box is really the centerpiece of the gig as far as a uh, signal flow standpoint. Also coming out of the box is a, a, an outlet. It provides two outlets and some USBs, which I use you know, to charge devices. Um, entertainer's secret for the throat. Stuff's great. Uh, I was recommended by my vocal coach uh, post polyp surgery. I had a polyp removed. Gaviscon also recommended. Um, this stuff keeps the acid down. In fact, I probably need to eat one right now. And a shout out to uh, Greg Asadorian again. You can listen to my conversation with him on podcast number three of the More Keys Please podcast, where we talk, where he describes, you know, why I need this keyboard. It's great. Drum machine and the iPad. What am I doing with the iPad? Well, iPad, I'm looking up lyrics. Because I get requests for songs I've only heard maybe once or twice. Sometimes not at all. Um, and also with the iPad, I have a show break playlist on Spotify that's downloaded onto the iPad, so I'm not relying on Wi-Fi. And it's just songs that uh, get along with every crowd. That's what you're listening to now. I'm mostly using the Ultimate Guitar Tabs app, and I have playlists that I've made. They're, they're organized in a way that makes sense to me. Um, like party songs, pop, rap, my faves, country, you know. So I can get, helps me navigate. And for, for tabs that are really tricky, I use this, uh, I forget the name of this app, uh, OnSong. Make your own, uh, charts, not have to deal with what's on Ultimate Guitar, which surprisingly Ultimate Guitar has been pretty good lately. I'm using Ultimate Guitar for looking up things most of the time because songs are out of the blue, but for those probably 10 or so songs that I get requests for that are just such a struggle, um, on song is good because I know they're my charts, they're not relying on Wi-Fi. Sennheiser 935, I put the black uh, the black grill on it. It came with a blue one. I don't know, just put the old one. I had an 835 too. So I uh, got the black, but that is the 935. It's been great. I don't, I don't think it's a placebo effect. This is a fantastic live microphone. Great dynamic mic. Um, and that's it. I mean, that's it, you know, just Key is having backups of everything. Oh yeah, and I got a wireless mic built into the box, plugged into one of the channels so I can grab a wireless or give it to a, a drunken crowd member. Or, you know, just go check the sound system. Uh, it's good to have a wireless mic. Just have as many extra of, uh, you know, anything you can imagine and let the show roll. Let the show roll. But the box is great. If anyone wants to know anything about the box and what I've put in the box and how it saved my life, feel free to reach out. I think that's, I think that's about it. That's about it.